This is Eric from Atain and you are watching Loud TV. Well, with the album, it feels quite fantastic to finally, after such a long time, after the, the last one, to arrive at the point where you feel totally ready for, you know, a new chapter, so to say. Um, the fact that it's also our 20 year anniversary is important to a certain extent. The number 20 doesn't really have any special significance to me as such, but uh, yeah, sure, it's, it's a long time. Um, how to say? I mean, we're at the same time that you, you can look back to the, like, to the beginnings um, and think that it seems like a really long time ago that we were, you know, 16 years old and started playing with fire it still also seems like a very short period of time you know uh, I always considered Vatain a young band somehow I think it's because we always like the older bands a lot you know we were into like I don't know destruction and mayhem and, and you know battery and, and bands like that so for us it was always I think we will always feel like a quite young band in comparison to our uh, our masters, so to say. Well, uh, first of all, we've established quite a long time ago that we're going to do this, and we're going to do it all the way. And uh, the main motivation, I would say, is is to you know uphold uphold our, our legacy and then to to fuel it with even more force you know to, to give it more power and to to defend it you know to the to the very last breath uh, to make sure that it's maintained with with dignity really um, that, that I would say is our is our main motivation in terms of why we keep on you know doing tours or uh, yeah be uh, the, the way we're active you know with what I want to the outside world as an artist do I feel free yeah I feel free and it's uh, a very central concept in you know why we even why we've come this far with Batain in the first place because the idea of freedom and the idea of liberation is, is uh, very dear to us and uh, we fight for it to the death you know it's 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 the most important feeling in that I know to be to be free really. Well, uh, I think it's it's different. Um, the creative process look quite different every time. We uh, <coughs> we have always approached it differently from from album to album, and this case was no different. Um, it really depends on what you where you desire to to put your focus. You know, for for this specific. Uh, yeah, process, so to say. I mean, <clears throat> for example, on the, on the last album, The Wild Hunt, we were, you know, focused on quite specific emotions and uh, experiences that we've that we've had over the past, um, and that in turn led into a quiet, well a creative process that was quite based on like retrospective and introspective work while this time with Trident Wolf Eclipse I, I, I'd say that the uh, that it's been more of a explosive kind of creative setting you know it, it's been more about predatory instinct rather than you know silent contemplation so to say 
uh, more direct, more more to the point, and uh, you know, not as focused perhaps on on detail, uh, more focused on a overall atmosphere, which was quite difficult actually, because uh, when you work with details, you have the advantage of really steering your work in the direction you want by adding more and more detail but if you're going more for a gut feeling you'll find that um, you'll find that you have to be much more aware of from the beginning where you want the process to go uh, you cannot control it so much along the way it's a bit like standing on the top of a hill and rolling a big rock you know so so that it tumbles down uh, we recorded in Necromorbus studio which is uh, the same studio that we have recorded all our albums for the past 20 years with the same guy uh, and for us this makes for a it just makes it very easy to get into the mood and to not have any unpredictable elements in terms of like what it means with what it would mean working with a new producer for example or in a new studio we just we're not really interested in in, um, in uh, you know experimenting with that I think the experimenting should be done in Vatain at least on in the rehearsal room and, and not not really in the with studio environment and so on. Uh, but yeah, that was that was the place we recorded, and I I think it sounds perhaps a bit different than than what people are used to. But it's yeah, it's recorded in the same studio. Yeah, it was uh, definitely an important part of the of the of this album to allow for say late 80s early 90s black and death metal tradition to shine through and i'm you know for me it's it's the most natural thing in the world really you know it's it's the kind of music we've been listening to for since forever um so uh, I, I was just I, i'm very pleased that we that we could really have that as a as, as a part of of Atain's legacy, you know, because it's also you realize also after the album is done, you start to think about okay, so who are gonna hear this album? Well, it's gonna be a lot of people, of course, that are you know black and death metal fans. But there's also the way things have gone with Vatain, It also means that there's a lot of people outside of the black and death metal scene that's gonna hear it, right? So that makes it kind of interesting to me like what what those people would make of an album like that because what it is it's really a uh, eight tracks of relentless black and death metal you know um, but yeah that's that's up to them how they relate to that kind of material but it's good that they at least get a glimpse into what you know proper black metal sounds like Uh, I hadn't been in touch with Martin since since the tour we did together in 2007, so I cannot say that you know it affected me the way the things like that does when when it's someone close to you. But you know, again, it leaves you with that with a feeling that 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 I'm far too familiar with. You know, when when good people pass away and you uh, you're left with the feeling that you know you one or two things that I would really have liked to have said to that guy before he passed away and now I don't have a chance so yeah that's that's a valuable lesson to learn every time it happens he was a uh, yeah he was a fantastic man a very very respectful and just lived up to everything that I had hoped for you know the Celtic Frost members to be like very a real gentleman with a very dark sense of humor and fantastic musician and artist absolutely well 
I could talk for a very long time about uh, our most central symbol, the trident. Of course, it's a it's a it's a symbol with a lot of depth and something that has that we have been charging with with energy and meaning for for so many years now. Um, but basically, to 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 make a long long story very short, I could say that it represents the the Trinity of Atain, the three people that that. Uh, Formed Watain, it represents, of course, the W, uh, the first letter of the band, and um, uh, I mean, like I said, I, I can speak for the symbol about the symbol for a very long time. But uh, yeah, I mean, just just from a graphical point of view, you could see it as the W, the first letter of the band, the resting on the inverted cross, which is the the, philo the philosophy that we have followed since since the start, you know, the path of the Satanist and, and the path of transcendence. <clears throat> As is the case with with Trident Wolf Eclipse as well, it's it's eight very individual songs and lyrics, but uh, they do have a lot in common as well. Of course, I mean, there's a there's a lot of my own personal belief in them, which are more of a private matter, but there's of course a lot of that 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 comes through. Um, I think the idea about um, empowerment, you know, the attainment of, of, of force was quite central in overall in, in, in the lyrical process, you know, the being, um, being on the path towards something very important, you know, some, something that is uh, pretty much the, the source of, of, of whatever that fuels you, wh whatever that, you know, gives you f power. And um, it, it, it's a lot about that quest, that, that search, that, that kind of exploring. Um, but uh, the end result, or like the the main the main theme for the here for this album, you know, in regards to a path or or a, or a search, was was that of power, you know, em empowerment, really. And and uh, I I think that what I ho what I hope, you know, w w when it comes to how how people perceive those ideas that, that are after all are you know integral in the album I, I think what I hope for is that uh, they should serve as um, really as a source of inspiration and as a source of empowerment for our kin you know the, 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 those who are like us you could say and they should serve as a hammer in the head of everyone else pretty much and uh, yeah then then you know it's it's always it's always up to each and everyone to to relate to what they and to re to relate about the things we we say. But as long as people know that what we are talking about it means everything to us, you know, and it's uh, it's of extreme importance that people take it for what it is and not not anything else, pretty much. I think it has, I think there's two sides to that coin, I mean, uh, in a way I think it's quite good, you know, what's happening in Poland, because it encourages rage, and it encourages question making, and it encourages people to fucking act and think, you know, uh, in liberal countries where what liberal countries like uh, the Western European countries, there's not that much questioning going on. You know, people are quite content with where things are at, and in a way, maybe they should be. But I think I always think that radical currents of thought, no matter if they serve my purpose or not, are are interesting when when they take place and. Uh, 
I mean that well, what's happening in in Poland is I'm I'm quite confident that in the end it will have results that benefits the devil rather than these people's gods 